Landauer. To start the InLight Reader software, double-click on the icon on the computer screen desktop. On the login screen, type the username and password to gain access to the program. The menu screen will appear. Click the Reader button to start the Reader Controller application. Once the application is loaded, it will automatically initiate the standard measurement tests on the reader. Once the tests have been completed, the standards graphs will display dots indicating the results of the tests. If any test results are outside of the preset error or warning limits, a message will appear warning the user of the condition. The standard measurement tests can be manually initiated by clicking the Measure Standards button on the reader screen. It is recommended that you run 5 to 10 standard measurement tests each day before operation. To run a process, place the badges to be read into an InLight Reader magazine and place the magazine into the InLight Reader. Note that for best operation, you should slide the magazine all the way to the right on the magazine shelf. Click the Start New Process button. Enter the process name. Select the holder type. You can set the reader to start on any magazine shelf and any slot number of the magazine. Select the proper dose conversion standard. If using the albedo decimeters, select the radiation environment class that should be used for the neutron calculation. Click the OK button to begin the reading process. Before reading the process, the reader will perform a standard measurement test. When the test has successfully completed, the reader will load the magazine from the magazine changer into the analytical section of the reader. One dosimeter at a time is loaded into the reader for analysis. Data points of PMT counts are taken and entered on the reading graph to display a glow curve. When all of the decimeters have been read, the magazine is ejected from the analytical side of the reader and placed again into the magazine changer. If any barcodes fail to be read by the reader, a screen will appear so that the operator can manually enter in the serial numbers. Type or scan the barcode number, click the Save, and then the Close buttons. At the end of each process, another standard measurement test will be performed. Prior to starting a calibration, the calibration decimeter serial numbers and doses need to be entered into the system. Click the Support button from the menu screen and select Badge Assignment. Select the Permanent Assignment checkbox so that the decimeters will remain as known dosed badges. If the box is left unchecked, the decimeters will be removed after they have been read one time. Enter the dose value, always in millirem or millisievert depending on the units of measure you have selected. Type or scan the serial number and click the Add Known Dose button. Each time the button is clicked, the decimeter is added to the list and removed from the text box. To remove doses, highlight the row of the decimeter in the list, then click the Remove Known Dose button. To calibrate, Place the calibration decimeters into a reader magazine and place the magazine into the InLight Reader. 
From the reader screen, click the Start Calibration button. Enter the process information and select the beam to be calibrated. The Landauer standard calibration set includes 0, 500 millirem, and 10 rem to be used for the strong beam calibration, and 0, 50 rem, and 500 rem doses to be used for the weak beam calibration. As with all processes, the reader will first perform a standard measurement test, then load the magazine and read each dosimeter. Once all decimeters are read, the calibration screen will appear. Click the Combined Dose Elements checkbox. In the data grid, evaluate the data looking for a coefficient variation of 5% or less for each dose level, excluding the zero doses. If the CV is higher than 5%, decimeters can be deselected to improve the variation. Deselected decimeters will not be used in the calibration calculation. Once all the dose levels are evaluated and deemed acceptable, click the Accept button to use this calibration. If the calibration is not deemed acceptable, click the Reject button to not use this calibration and run the calibration process again. If you have calibrated using the Both Beams option, then you will need to evaluate each beam separately. For the weak beam, you may need to deselect all of the 500 millirem decimeters due to the low dose being read on the weak beam. Accept or reject the weak beam calibration first. Then evaluate and accept or reject the strong beam calibration. You can view and export the dose data by clicking the Reports button on the menu screen and select Dose Reports. You can either type the name of the process you wish to view or choose a date range and select the report from the list. Click the Refresh button to see the report names. Select the report and then click the Move button to move the report to the selection area. Multiple reports can be chosen and added to the selection area. Select the field to be displayed by highlighting then clicking the Move button. Multiple fields can be selected by clicking and holding the Shift or Control keys to highlight and then clicking the Move button. Click the Refresh button to generate the report. The report can be exported to a CSV file by clicking the Export button, then choosing the location to save the report. This concludes this supplemental training video. Please look for other Landauer training videos to help enhance your application of the InLight products.